how do you know what keywords people are typing into Google that are actually getting you web traffic. Fortunately, there are two free tools from Google that give you great insight into the keywords that are actually working for you. The first is Google Analytics, and the second is Webmaster Tools. In this video, I'm going to explain how to use both of those to learn the actual keywords that people are using that are getting you traction. My name is Jason McDonald, director of the JM Internet Group. Let's get started. Welcome back. Here's our agenda. We're going to review the keyword process, uh, sort of very basic stuff. How do people get from Google to our website and make sure we understand what we're trying to measure uh, or get information. We're going to look at Google Analytics and use Google Analytics for keyword discovery for understanding the types of keywords uh, that are generating traffic to our website. And then we're going to flip over and look at Webmaster Tools, which gives us a different perspective um, on keyword discovery. All right, so what's our process? Our first thing to understand, of course, is the search starts with keywords. So users are inputting those keywords into Google or Bing, and then they're clicking from Google to your website. So let's review that process. So I'll go over here, and let's just take sort of a typical search. So I'm going to open up Chrome so I can stay signed out. So I'm not signed out. I always like to be a good Googler. And I'm going to put in SEO training. And I'm just going to set my location over here to New York. So I'm going to do New York, New York. And I'm just going to think, okay, I'm in New York City. I'm looking for a class in search engine optimization. So what are some of the searches I might put in? SEO training, and you can see I'm on page one there about position four. They might put in SEO class, short tail, or they might put in a long tail, Manhattan SEO course, page one, position one. They might put in NYC search engine optimization classes. There I am. So the first thing I'm trying to measure is what are they searching for? Is it NYC? Is it New York? Is it Manhattan? Is it SEO? Is it search engine optimization? Is it classes? Is it courses? Is it training? Those are all the sort of proverbial questions about SEO. What are the keywords that are generating inbound search activity? Of course, I have to know my keywords. I have to get on position. Uh, one, two, three, four, etc., and then I have to get that all-important click from Google to my website, and then hopefully they do something, in this case, an action, like sign up for some of our uh, free trainings. So that's the first thing we just want to conceptualize, is search starts with keywords. We have to get to the rank that we need on Google, and then we're trying to find out, are people actually clicking? So now we're going to go into Google Analytics, and we want to see how do we get keyword data out of Google Analytics. This is going to show us what keywords are actually performing, and most importantly, we're going to learn from this data and get keyword ideas. All right, so I'm going to flip over to the materials for the class. So all of the class materials, you can get to the class materials at number 37, so go to jm-seo.org slash 37. Put that in your browser or click on the link in the YouTube video, and that's going to get you to the PowerPoint and class materials and all that fun stuff. So that's where the links are. All right, so we did our Google search. Now let's log in to Google Analytics. And again, in this video, I'm assuming you've put the analytics code on, you've got analytics running, you've let it run for some time, you have some data, you've got to the top of some target searches. So I'm going to sign in here to analytics. And I'm going to drill down into my account. For most of you, it'll be a lot simpler. You'll just have one account. Okay, so very simply, now I'm in my analytics account. I'm looking at data for the last 30 days. Now, I want to know what are the keywords that are generating inbound search traffic. And specifically, maybe I'm interested in that whole New York area thing. Go over here on the left-hand side. Click on Traffic Sources. Click on Sources. Click on Search click on organic. They don't make it super easy. Okay, let me show you that with my marker here. So you log into analytics, you click on traffic sources, sources, search, organic, and that gets you to your keyword data. So these are our keywords that's coming through. Now, we'll explain some of the weird uh, vagaries of how this works in a second, but let's just go in and let's look at our data. So here's our data. 
Let's go to the bottom here and let's open up 500 rows of data. So you can see what are searches that people are coming in for. Now, the other thing I like to do, I like to open up this other little tool. It's in the tool book. It's also in the links. If you download the links, you can get the links there. You can just look at your screen and see what the URL is. I like to put the website I'm investigating into this tool. And just so I can see. So let's see. I got 207 accesses from a search called Bacon Number Johnny Depp. This is a new funny Google Easter egg. So I'm going to copy that phrase. I'm going to paste that phrase over here and hit search. And what this tool does is measure where I am on that search. Let's go and do the search um, in Chrome. So this is telling me people are interested in the Bacon number. This is a funny ha 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 how connected you are to Kevin Bacon. And you can put in a movie star. And I know that people were doing this a lot for Johnny Depp. So I created a blog post specifically um, on that. And I'm number one for that search. You can do that for any of the searches where you see performance. So let's take um, reach local reviews, 31 visits, control C, paste it into Chrome if you want. And let's see if I show up there. I may or may not show up. Sometimes you don't always show up on page one. You maybe are a little bit down uh, the page. Let's go over here and let's try it in the other tool. Usually you'll be on page one. This may be an interesting one. I'm number six. So I'm number six. Usually you're going to be on page one. Let's go see if I can find myself at number six. There I am. A little bit hard to see. Sometimes you just can't see yourself. So that is what? It's a blog post I wrote about this company, Reach Local, and, and kind of how they work. So I'm getting traction from that keyword from that blog post. Okay, so that's the first thing you can do. Again, Traffic sources, sources, search, organic, and you're able to just browse. These are the keywords that are actually pulling traffic for you. Now, pay attention to some of the attributes here. We're going to ignore some of these because they don't really matter for what we're trying to say. This is a very SEO type of search. They've never heard of JM Internet Group. They're just looking at this funny thing. This is another one, just very generic. This one down here is what's called a branded search. So that means they know our name, JM Internet Group, and they search for us and they come over. So we have what are called branded searches and unbranded searches or non-branded searches. So I'm very interested in non-branded searches because those are people that don't know anything about me. Now let's return to that New York City idea. Let's say I'm really interested in how do people search with the phrase NYC. So let's just type in NYC over here with this little, um, what do they call that, magnifying glass. So you're going to put a keyword in here that you're interested in, and you're going to click that little hourglass guy or magnifying glass guy. And now I've done a filter. So I can see in the last 30 days, 52 visits, that had the words NYC in it. I can see what are people searching for with respect to that term. And of course, I can also go copy that, Control C. I can paste that over here, Control V. And I can see my position. I'm number three. I totally dominate New York City searches uh, for SEO. All right, so that's interesting. I can split this baby a different way. Let's say I'm interested in the word classes. What do people put in with classes? Type in classes and hit go. So right from the beginning, you can get a lot of interesting information. Think of it like your 24-7 poll of your customer. How are they searching? What are they searching? What are you getting? What are you doing? So use this search function to really understand what are they searching? Now, these are only searches where you're succeeding, where you're pulling traffic. If you don't rank, if you're not on page one, if you're not in those top maybe three, four, five positions, you're not going to get a lot of traffic. So be aware of that. Now, the other thing I like to do, let's reset that, is I like to go dumpster diving. I like to go to the very bottom in these 500s and look for examples of things, rich snippets tutorial, for instance. But maybe I'm not search. I'm not doing that well, and I don't know. Let's go try. Let's see how we're doing. Rich snippets tutorial. Let's see position 14. This is a great example. So I'm 14. I'm not on page one. I got two visits from that. That could be a great blog post because I'm not doing that well, but I'm getting some traffic. It shows me people are searching. So think about using Google Analytics 
to do what I call dumpster dive, go to the bottom, look for some ideas, and this is a great way to get ideas for new content, blog content, etc. Look at this one right here, PR Web, any good? That's a blog post, reviews of PR Web, what's a good news release service? So use your keyword data to give you ideas for blog posts, web content, etc. That's dumpster diving. Let's talk real briefly about way here at the top, way at the top. Let's talk about what this not provided means. If you are logged into Google, HTTPS secure, and you flip over to somebody's website, Google is not sharing data anymore. It's a very obnoxious thing that they're doing on Google. That's what not provided means. It means not sharing. Google's not sharing the keyword data. It's an SEO search. It came from organic, but they're not going to tell us what that is. There aren't any great workarounds. One of the workarounds I like to do is let's expand our data. Let's go to our data set and let's just expand that. Let's make that January 1st, 2012, hit apply. So think about this like a statistical sample. So now I am enlarging my statistical sample. So if I'm interested in, say, just the word SEO, I'm looking at, what, about eight months of data here. I can really see what people search for in that way. So by expanding your data set up here, you can sort of work around the fact that they don't share a lot of data with you. They only share about two-thirds of the data these days. So that's the answer to that question. So that is your first source of information on your keywords is your Google Analytics data. And you want to learn from that and really massage that. Think of it as your 24-7 uh, uh, survey of your customers. Now let's look at Webmaster Tools, which is another source of inbound keyword activity. It's a little different from Google Analytics. It's a little messy, in my opinion. Let's go and look at that set. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to log in to my Webmaster Tools. Again, I'm going to assume you've set this up for your company. I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to log into my account. So I'm in my Webmaster Tools account now, and I'm looking at my inbound traffic. Go over to Traffic, Search Queries, and again, you can see that bacon number, Johnny Depp, which is huge, 140,000 impressions on Google. This is trending right now, and that's part of my blog strategy. I can also see other keywords that are people looking for. This is a blog post I wrote on the tragedy in Aurora in social media. These are just different sorts of things. AdWords coupon. AdWords coupon. What does that mean? And you go to Google. You type in something like AdWords $100 coupons. Guess who's number one, number two for that search? That's what this is telling me. So Webmaster Tools, not as crunchable as Google Analytics, but again, you can start to see some ideas for keywords. So think about using your Webmaster Tools also about what people are searching for, how it's working. It's not as searchable, it's not as manipulatable as Google Analytics, but it's interesting data. The other thing I like to do is click on my top pages, take a top page, hold your cursor there, and it'll expand. It'll tell you this page, which is a WordPress blog post. Make sure to open it up there. This is a blog post I wrote on that funny bacon number, ha, 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 blog post. It tells me what are people searching for, what, are, what am I getting results from. So this is another way to do it. So you can get it from top pages. You can get it from top queries. You can take any of your top pages. Your home page will usually be a top page. You can see what people are searching for. So that's your webmaster tools. And again, on any of these, take those keywords, pop them in the other tool, see how you're performing. It's being a little bit bad on me. It's not going to load for me. There we go. Put the search term in and see how you're performing on number two for SEO classes. So Webmaster Tools is another way to do it. So wrapping up, you're going to look at Google Analytics and Webmaster Tools to learn what keywords are actually working for you. With the huge caveat, you have to be on page one for this to really work. So if you don't make it to page one for a keyword target, it's not going to show up in analytics because you don't get any traffic. So don't fall into the trap of thinking analytics tells you everything. It only tells you where you're actually succeeding 
but it's still very important data. So you can get all the links at number 37 there. Uh, I always encourage all of my students, um, if you have questions, let me know. Uh, I'm always eager to help, and that so much is everything you ever wanted to know about Google Analytics and Webmaster Tools and how to get keyword data uh, from those two sources. Thank you for watching.